Many hunters who took to the field this fall, and those still out there, will receive a harvest survey via email or the Postal Service. Surveys went out October 16th and will continue throughout the hunting season. The survey gathers harvest information and feedback on the 2023 hunting season. Wildlife managers use hunters' responses about their season when making wildlife management decisions. A harvest survey is the best way to gather large amounts of data from the public. The Game and Fish uses the responses to estimate harvest, hunter success, and hunter effort. Hunter feedback is important information, and it's a valuable tool for monitoring populations, setting future quotas, season dates, and other regulations. Now, not everyone who hunts Wyoming this year will receive a survey. Because of the large volume of antelope, deer, and elk license holders, a random sampling of those licensed hunters will be surveyed. That said, nearly all license holders for moose, bighorn sheep, mountain goat, black bear, mountain lion, gray wolf, wild turkey, fur bearer, sandhill crane, small game, upland game, migratory game bird, light goose conservation order, and sage grouse will be included in the survey process throughout the year as each of those seasons close. If you get a survey, it's important to fill it out, even if you didn't hunt or harvest. Some hunters may receive a survey before their season ends. Game and Fish asks those hunters to wait until they're finished hunting or their season is over before they fill it out. Responding online is the best way to submit your response, and hunters who complete their antelope, deer, or elk harvest surveys by the deadline will be entered in a drawing to win one of several gift cards or prizes donated by outdoor retailers and organizations. Harvest surveys are being conducted by the Wyoming Survey and Analysis Center at the University of Wyoming on behalf of the Game and Fish. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.